Sorry if you've been asked this, but I mean, the defense has held some of the best offenses in this country um, to numbers that they are not used to in other games. What do you take away from that, at least, in a game like this, knowing that you still came out with a loss? But what can you take away from that? Yeah, I mean, I think at the end of the day, you're always, I'm always proud to play with those guys in the black shirts. I love every one of them, and I know they're, they know I'm going to give them my best, and I know they're going to give me my best. So that's really something that I, helps just playing with them. But, I mean, at the end of the day, we could have done a lot of things better too. You know what I mean? So we're going to watch the film and see how we can improve. What will be some of those things that you'll be watching for in the film? Yeah, I mean, obviously the clean eyes are always huge. Shot plays, just playing a little tighter in coverage, just getting a little more depth in coverage. Tackling, obviously, can always be better. So just stuff like that. In the first half, like, you had a big you had a big play. Uh, well, Luke Reimer, like you and Reimer especially have been just having big plays all season long. Like when you have big moments as a defense, how does that maybe set you up right away off the bat when you get going quick yeah. like that? I think it's huge for energy. And then, you know, get, we really try to emphasize getting on someone's hat when they make a good play. And, you know, just that energy is just contagious. And that's something that we got to also continue to get better at. But that's something that we've been really working on, too. And from your viewpoint, um, when you saw like Ben Stilley, he was getting frustrated with the officials. He's not usually one to get frustrated in those moments. What was what was going on with like, what was he saying? What was he like, how are you all kind of reacting in those moments? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, I, I think there's, it's natural to have a little frustration early on, but I didn't hear exactly what he said, but I know when the next play was started, he was ready to go and everyone was ready to go and everyone moved on from it. So, I mean, I think a little frustration naturally, we just can't let it carry over to when we uh, play. And he seems like he's somebody that um, isn't a captain, but feels like he mm -hmm. might as well be. Definitely. So is that kind of the vibe he gives off in those moments? Yeah, I mean, we got guys like Stilly and Jojo who aren't officially captains, but they're definitely leaders, really, really important leaders on this team and they do a great job. Hey Nick, um, did you were you, you were out there? I assume on the, the strip sack that Nelson yeah. had mm -hmm. on Ohio State's last possession. Were you in the chase for the for the ball there? It, it just seemed like yeah. the ball was on the turf. Or, you know, quite yeah, <laughs> I was I was pretty deep in coverage, but okay. when I saw it, I tried to haul butt over there and mm -hmm. get in. I know everyone else was, and you know. Ball didn't bounce our way, and they you got say, it. What did that moment seem like from your perspective? Yeah, I mean, it was a huge play, great play by Garrett, obviously, because, I mean, obviously they made the field goal, but even that we didn't get the ball, we we made a lot harder field goal on him, and we got him. Yeah, we held him, so yeah. it was a big play. I mean, I walked up and you were talking about JoJo. Um, what's your love of appreciation for all that he is, is, has done, mm -hmm. he's doing for this program? You know, as a leader, as somebody you can look up to, and you know, coach says he's playing hurt. So yeah, I I really can't put into words, honestly, like everything he's done for this program and the kind of man and leader he is. So I know whatever he chooses to do in life after football, I think he's going to be playing ball for a while. But mm -hmm. he's going to be super successful because of his character. Want some more guys? What I mean, when it came to trying to slow their pass game down, which I know the numbers, but you guys kind of did that. What what were the keys going into the game, and how well did you guys execute that? Yeah, I think one of the things we were really trying to do whenever we were in zone was play it deep to short and eliminate the explosive big plays. And obviously, we didn't do that all the time. They had that one long touchdown catch, but I think for the most part, anyways, there wasn't a ton of explosives, which against an offense like this is really tough to do. What would you say his arm talent level was, Strauss? Like, how good yeah. of a player was he? I mean, he's super talented, super talented. He's really, really good quarterback. So, yeah, he's a really good player. Mr. Nick? How do you feel about, um, <laughs> sorry. No, you're good, you're good. Um, How confident are you in the offense to be able to convert those those key money down? They didn't do it today. How confident are you in their ability to do that? Yeah, always confident in them. I know those guys are working. We see them in practice every day. So when they're, you know, not making them in games, we know, like, all right, like, we'll get, we'll get the next one. You know what I mean? We always got their back, and we try to emphasize that as in, like, all right, the offense might not be on, defense might not be on, and vice versa, but we both got to pick each other up. So, yeah, we have 100% confidence in that.